Hi, it is Tuesday, May 23rd, and I'm gonna show you the back garden. Let me start with some things that I cut from the back garden. Um, I cut them very short because um, I want the bulbs to naturalize. This here is about a five inch stem right now, but it was picked um, and maybe even have broken off of the plant at about three inches. So I would say in a week, most of these tulips have gotten an extra one and a half, two inches of, of stem. So they do continue to grow. Let me show you what's going on in the backyard here at zone 5B. It is the second flush of tulips and bulbs. The carousel tulips are doing especially fine. And then my seeds started, all the seed starting that I did, as well as a couple of proven winter's plants that I picked up at the garden center. So the ballerina tulips are these beautiful orange, um, delicate looking ones. They've been a star um, all season long. They're lasting beautifully. This one here is hopefully a, uh, a black parrot tulip. We'll see what happens. There are a couple of white ones, but yeah, but it's, it has been such a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, cool spring um, that, that the tulips have just lasted for a long time and, all, and as well as all the bulbs. So this is, uh, this is the raised bed. This has been the latest that we have coming up. These are gonna be Byzantine gladiolus as well as I think some, um, some irises. Uh, we've got a bunch of queen of night tulips. We've got some of these pink doubles. They might be angeliques, but they, they're looking pretty dark for angeliques. They're beautiful nonetheless. Um, but yeah, the queen of nights, I would say they're, they're definitely like, they are not black. Um, what you're seeing here, by the way, this is the hailstorm damage from two weeks ago. Um, it absolutely decimated the garden. Some of these daffodils were not up at all, even yesterday. Look at that. Here's the ballerinas. This one here, another instance of hail damage. But it's been so beautiful and cool since then that that things are just coming up and staying up. These these little daffodils in the background here were not uh, were not out at all yesterday but just, oh man, that's gorgeous. Alliums are coming out. And then let's give it a look this way. So we have a pink, this is the purple mix from Longfield Gardens. Um, I must have thrown some red ones in here as well, just because I was running out of room, um, which is really beautiful. These are the Esperanto tulips. They're coming up very short. Um, I need to do better at watering next year. I would assume there's so much water that I don't give it extra water. This is a sport of Chinatown. Um, and uh, it just, it, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I, I love these. And then this one may be lasting love. I have not seen hide nor hair of my Vincent Van Gogh's yet. Those are, I think the Vincent Van Gogh's are gonna look like this, but fringed. Um, have not seen those yet. Hopefully they come up and they're just very, very late because of the cold spring. This is a carousel tulip. Um, I've already picked probably six or seven of them um, from the year before, but they start, this is how they start. They're more of a ivory yellow. And then they, then you can really start to see the fringe on top. And as they age, they get like this and they will turn pure white. Um, with enough time. This one here is not a carousel tulip. That is maybe a spring green. But yeah, so you just see they, they start developing more and more of that little blush color. The Lady Janes are just about done. Um, here's another one of these Esperanto tulips. So pretty. Here's a parrot. You can tell this is how what happened. Even the flowers that were up um, and stayed up, they were damaged and lost, um, like lost some of their petals even. So and there you go, yeah, just <laughs> just a problem with that hailstorm. Um, yeah, most of the tulips here are done except for these are the pistachio tulips. They are absolutely gorgeous and they have a lovely fragrance. The hyacinths, these over here are Carnegie's. I think I'm gonna go with them for next year. They are all done. I had some white ones on the other side that are white ideal, those are done. And I'll show you in the front part, we have some apricot. Um, hyacinths in front, as well as some species tulips that are coming up now just beautifully. Couple of, <clears throat> a couple of flowers here. Uh, daffodils, this one is, I think the, 
Narcissus Fiore Piano. Yeah, man, it's just awesome. All right, the rose bushes are, are looking good, um, except for the fact that I need to still clean them up from the winter time. <clears throat> a little more little tulips are coming up. Yeah, we just have this beautiful flush coming. The uh, pink impressions did beautifully again for year number two. Uh, you can see this is pretty much what's left of them. Um, we've got Valerie Finnis um, grape hyacinths coming up. These are the exotic emperors, little tiny bits of them hanging on, as well as I think some replete daffodils. <clears throat> These ones here, I think, were possibly something called big ups. They are done as well. But yeah, they're a great example of the foliage damage with the storm. Um, more of the carousels. Look at that. I mean, just really, you can't, you can't beat this, right? They're going to be just beautiful. In the back here, these have come up really nicely. The lilies that I threw just bits in there have, have also done really well. You can see them starting to come up. But yeah, we're at the tail end here. These are definitely Angeliques. So maybe what I have over on the other side is also Angeliques in the other raised bed. Um, but with this cool spring, I think they have just come up um, especially beautiful in pink here, like a darker pink than normal. And then, yeah, this is what I want to see with these um, hyacinths. And as you can see, like this, this is, this would have been like if had I left it all up here, but I've only left a few on here just to see what happens with these seeds. Um, I mean, this would have been like a 16 inch tall hyacinth. Um, just really beautiful. Only a couple of my um, Muscari latifolium came back from last year. That's the seed pods left from them. And the carousel tulips. Yeah, oh, so pretty. And then this will get to be more pure white with a darker pink, but they do start like that. All right. And let's just get a quick look here in the front. So these are some of the botanical tulips I put in. I think these ones are the lilac Bakeri. Um More and more of them are starting to come up nice and late. Um, this one here was one of the white ideal um, hyacinths, but here we have a couple left here. These are apricot and then more of the little baby uh, botanical tulips. I think that was a really nice addition. And the Valerie Finnis um, Muscari, just so pretty. Close up of the, oh yeah, here's, here's the last of the Carnegie's coming up a little late with some botanical tulips um, around it. And yeah, oh, the pistachio, pistache, as they say, just gorgeous. So I think that's definitely a keeper. I hope they come back next year. And you may hear the birds in the background. Let's see. These pots ended up doing better than I thought. I thought I had rotted them all out, but they, most of the ones here in the back um, did come up with some blooms. The ones in the front definitely did not. And yeah, just a few, few, few of the Lady Jane tulips still have something going on. Oh, I just noticed that I, this I think back here, that's a Talia, T-H-A-L-I-A daffodil. That's pretty, yeah. And then these are more of, I believe those big up um, tulips, the bright pink hair, really, really a great addition. So. Um, that'll be fun and we'll see what happens with this little sweet pea that I popped in. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully soon I can start turning these pots into actual um, actual summer planters. Here we go. These are a couple of creme de cassis dahlias that I grew from tubers. Um, this I'm giving to some friends. This is sweet alyssum. Um, more dahlia that I grew from seed. This is a verbena that I picked up at the nursery, a little begonia. Um, got another little dahlia. I'm just gonna try dahlias this year. Um, these here are a couple of ranunculus that, um, that I grew from corms. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with them. Um, um, a variety of plants back there, including some Celosia snapdragons, scaviosa. This is a bunch of lobelia. Um, you can see maybe a little tiny bit of blue over there, um, as well as some dahlias grown from seed in the background. 
Um, this, we've got some scarlet runner beans that spent way too much time inside, and so they are hurting. Okay, here's some more of the blue lobelia. It's going to be really pretty. Um, and I need to get this, you know, get got to start getting things in the ground. These are some super tunias that my husband helped me pick out. They're called Lovey Dovey. Got two of them there. And we have, of course, uh, some of my favorite, uh, the rockin', the... Uh, rockin' play in the blues salvias um, that the hummingbirds and the bees absolutely adore. Let's see, I think nothing else of particular note here gone through, but yeah, so these, we're gonna just see what happens with these dahlias. I've, I've never had them before, um, been able to grow them. I put a couple a few years ago back behind that tree, and of course they got no sun and they did nothing, but we're gonna see. So, seedlings, hopefully soon. Have a good day. If this is my nephew Kyle watching, I love you, honey. Bye-bye.